hope you're with me here. We've been studying in Exodus 32. This is the golden calf chapter. Things are sailing along pretty good, more or less. And God's people do the crazy thing. They make the golden calf. And we've already talked about that this morning. Let's look at verses 34 and 35. And those verses say, But go now, lead the people where I told you. Behold, my angel shall go before you. Nevertheless, in the day when I punish, I will punish them for their sin. Then the Lord smote the people because of what they did with the calf which Aaron had made. Okay, so this is the end of chapter 32. Uh, and God says, all right, let's uh, load up. We, you know, we're going to carry on our mission. So we're going to move. They've been at the foot of Mount Sinai for uh, quite a long time, close to a year, or at least a significant part of a year. And now we're going to pack things up and keep on moving. So uh, Moses is to continue, resume where they left off, and they have the portable sanctuary now to pull together. And uh, this is where, what we, where we have. God is going to do uh, what he's going to do, and the mission continues. So God says, I'm going to send my angel before you. I'm going to give you guidance here. But uh, this isn't quite as close. God isn't necessarily in the camp uh, where, he, where the plan was. I'm going to dwell with my people. So watch how this develops here as we carry on. Um, they're going to carry on now with their mission. Uh, they've had this uh, remarkable episode, set of episodes, and now they're moving on. And we understand here that some punishment is going to be future. Uh, some people are going to have, you know, a, a space is opened up for them. Hopefully they'll repent. But if not, you know, then they'll reap the results of their idolatry. So, uh, so yeah, we're carrying on and moving forward. Uh, a lot of times God, it's important that God's people continue going forward on their mission. They're not lined up just the way they want. Sometimes we, we've talked, you know, in our churches, oh, we want to do these evangelistic meetings. We want to do these meetings. Oh, pastor, we can't really... I think we need to clean up our act before we do these meetings. You know, we need to take care of this and this. And a lot of times there's always stuff to be cleaned up and, and fixed up and put better in order. That's true. Uh, but it's also true that um, if we waited till we had everything right, if we had all the racing stripes painted just right, and we had the, the, the best set of church officers and the best flyers and the best presentations, and if we waited till we put everything in order, you know, and everybody's life was perfect, why we would probably uh, never be able to hold any kind of a meeting at all because we wouldn't have anybody who could uh, stand up and, and deal with it, just, just be engaged. They'd always be something that, you know, I need to finish getting setting right with God. So we need to set things right with God, and at the same time, we need to be rolling. We need to be on the move, and yet at the same time, letting God transform us. So I fully believe, you know, you start the car, you begin moving, you can set the GPS up, you know, somebody in the car can set up the GPS coordinates and, and the map and so on. Well, if you just start off in the general direction you need, you can perfect it as you're en route, save a little bit of time. Uh, don't just uh, wait till you've got everything in order and then and get everything perfected and go. Start where you're at and go. If your local church, if your local congregation has got a lot of pieces that aren't right, start where you're at and move on from there. Do the work of God with what you have uh, right now, start up, put things in order, press the button, go, uh, and, and then perfect things and make it better. Do make it right. Make it better than it, than it has been on the way. But you just start where you are and keep going. And these people now have kind of gone through a lot of business here, but they're going to just pick up where they are. And Moses is instructed, all right, let's go. Let's get the move on. Start marching. So onward we go toward the promised land, and we look forward to seeing you back, hopefully, Join me tomorrow morning.